Uh, it's a unique year and we're not able to do an award ceremony in person, but we wanted to do a Zoom format so that you would have a chance to be able to um, see each other and uh, chat and encourage one another as awards are received. We are gonna go through some aspects of the ceremony fairly quickly. Uh, we wanna recognize a number of people who have participated in different areas. And so I'm gonna start off by just recognizing our National Honor Society members. And I'm not gonna read through everyone's name because we did have a separate award ceremony for them. Uh, but these people are honored for excellence in scholarship, service, leadership, and character. We're really proud of all of these National Honor Society members um, and all that it has taken to bring them to the point of, of joining National Honor Society. The next group we wanna recognize are these students who were chosen to serve as camp counselor with the Upper Elementary Retreat because of their qualities in leadership, academics, and service. And so congratulations to this uh, wonderful group of juniors. The next group of people we wanna recognize are seniors who dedicated part of their school day as assistants to elementary teachers and students throughout the year. We really, they had the chance and choice to decide whether to have a study hall or have serve as a teacher aide, and they made a choice, a selfless choice to be able to serve others during their free period. And so we really appreciate and commend them for that choice. We wanna recognize a lot of people who served as small group leaders uh, this year for elementary students. And this is a very courageous thing because it means you are um, serving, uh, leading a small group for students who are in elementary grades. Um, and it takes a lot of courage to be able to do that. And we really commend and, and congratulate um, all of these people who multiple times throughout the school year, almost once every month, would lead a small group with elementary students. In the same way, we want to recognize our secondary small group leaders uh, who did a fantastic job this year of leading groups uh, for our high school, middle school and high school chapels. And again, this takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of willingness to, to do things that are difficult and to also spend a lot of time preparing and to try to connect with our secondary students. And so we give a, a big round of congratulations to our small group leaders in secondary. The next group of people we want to recognize are our Thrive Youth Group leaders. And these, this is our leadership team for our sixth through eighth grade youth group program. And we really appreciate all of the time and investment that they did into developing and building relationships with the students in, that participate in Thrive and planning many activities. The next group is our launch leadership team. And these are our, the uh, student leaders who invested tons of time to make launch a success throughout this year. Um, and we're very grateful for all of the time that, we, that uh, was invested into making launch a fantastic program, youth group program for students in ninth through 12th grade. The next group of people we want to recognize are our secondary worship musicians. And these are the students that uh, led or participated in leading uh, worship during chapel, during different school events. Uh, we really appreciated all the time that they invested in and their talent, musical talents and abilities, as well as their willingness to be on stage and lead others in worship. In particular, we wanna call out Julia, Natalia, Angie, Daniela, and JJ for their specific roles in leadership with the worship teams. Uh, they uh, were involved in a lot of the planning and organization of worship for our students throughout this school year. The next group of people I'd like to recognize are Caleb Dowd, Chosie, Crystal, and Julie Kim uh, for their leadership as Spiritual Life Committee members. Uh, this is a group of students who are involved in meeting alongside teachers, administrators, and parents to help oversee the, the spiritual direction of the school and help plan things such as chapels and retreats and really trying to help keep us uh, with a pulse on the things that are needed in our student body. Um, the next group of people we'd like to recognize are our student council officers. And I'm gonna name them one at a time. Um, these student council officers were elected uh, at the end of last school year. Congratulations to Diego Oliver as our vocal, to Angie Martinez as treasurer, Julia Holsinger as our secretary, uh, Jose Garcete as our vice president, and Caleb Doubt as our president. We really wanna give you guys a big uh, round of applause and congratulations. The next group of people are those that uh, were involved as student council class representatives. The student council class representatives are those that work with the student council at the different grade levels so that 
uh, they can connect with the students at each grade level. And so we want to recognize in this group uh, the following people, Cynthia Sandal and Henry Ippel in grade seven, Maria Garcete and Caleb Starkenberg in grade eight, Rochelle Faber and David Figueroa in grade nine, Daniela Cubas, Caden Ewell in grade 10, Crystal Hernandez and Yadar Lopez in grade 11, and Catherine Duran and Sean Solano in grade 12. The next group we'd like to recognize uh, are two of our student council class representatives that were named uh, class representatives of the year. And these two students were named because of exemplary participation in our student council class representative uh, program. And so these two students that are recognized here are Rochelle Faber and David Figueroa. Congratulations to the two of you uh, for fantastic work and leadership in the area of student council. We really appreciate you. The next group of people we'd like to recognize are our senior class officers. The senior class officers this year have been uh, highly involved uh, throughout the year in making a lot of choices and trying to determine uh, important decisions throughout the year. Um, this year in particular, they've had a lot of extra work and uh, that extra work has been related to trying to redesign activities at the end of the year. And so we want to give a big round of applause and congratulations to Donado Guerrero as our treasurer, Natalia Kim as our secretary, Jose Garcete as our vice president, and Julie Kim as the president of the senior class. Congratulations to the four of you and thank you for all of your leadership throughout this year. The next group of people we'd like to recognize are people that were involved um, as staff for our Eagle Eye program. Um, and so the following people are recognized because they were contributors to our school student newspaper throughout the year. And so we want to recognize uh, Allison Gonzalez, Lucia Garcia, Daniela Morales, Francis Hidalgo, and Brian Sandal. Congratulations and thank you so much for your work. And then in particular, we want to recognize the editors for the Eagle Eye student newspaper, and that is goes to Caleb Dowd, Chose, and Angie Martinez. Congratulations to the three of you, and thank you so much for all of the work that you put in to making our student newspaper uh, an excellent tool of communication and, and to be um, sharing articles and highlighting different people uh, throughout the school year. Thank you very much. The next group of people we'd like to recognize are our Aussie Democracy participants. And even though Aussie Democracy did not get to go on a trip this year, um, there was a lot of work and preparation that went into preparing for this. And so we want to recognize the following group of people um, for all of the work that they put in. Each one of them qualified uh, to be able to participate in Aussie Democracy, and most of them would have gone on the trip um, if it had not been postponed. Um, and so we're very proud of each of you. And in particular, we want to recognize one uh, NCA student who, even though Aussie Democracy did not take place uh, as an official event, one of the competitions was still uh, conducted in preparation for the event, in advance of the event. And so we want to recognize Diego Oliver for uh, the project of Rama winning the Social Entrepreneurship Challenge. This is really an incredible um, opportunity and an incredible thing uh, that took a lot of work um, and a fantastic idea um, to be able to improve Nicaragua. And we are very proud of Diego for having made that happen and look forward to seeing uh, a lot of what that work um, that went into it being uh, taking place and continuing to improve things in our country. Thank you, Diego. Congratulations. The next group of people we'd like to recognize are the participants of Dale Nicaragua, which happened last October. And so we want to congratulate the following group of people. Uh, we had a wonderful group of people to participate in Dale Nicaragua this year. Dale Nicaragua is similar to Asi Democracy, but happens here in Nicaragua. And um, it includes two days of uh, full, uh, full days of debates um, among uh, within a number of different committees and with a lot of different, very challenging topics. And so congratulations to this group of people. We would like to recognize two specific people who served as staff members for Dale Nicaragua, Crystal Hernandez, who chaired one of the committees called Cumbre de las Americas, and Caleb Daut, who chaired Press Corps. And then we would also like to recognize Fernando Munguia, who won first honorable mention for the Inter-American Court of Human Rights, and Diego Oliver, who won best delegate in the historical cabinet of Abraham Lincoln. 
congratulations to uh, both of you uh, for uh, working very hard and especially earning the privilege of receiving this award. The next group of people we would like to recognize are our uh, Leamos participants. And Leamos is a uh, program that allows our students to be able to lead or work with uh, other uh, children in a neighboring school and to be able to help them uh, improve reading skills um, and in general provide support, academic support for them. And so congratulations and thank you to this wonderful group of people that um, participated in Leamos this year. Um, it was a huge uh, success and we really appreciate you. And in particular, we wanna say thank you to Catherine, Julie and Angie for your leadership of Leamos um, during the past few years. Thank you so much for all of the time and energy and hearts that you have poured into this program. We're very proud of you. The next group of people we'd like to recognize um, as we shift gears a little bit are our drama awards. Um, and this year, um, thankfully, we were able to, to finish the production of Annie um, just before uh, things started to become a little bit more difficult for us to continue to do school events. And yet we had a wonderful opportunity and there were so many of you that were involved. As you can see, the cast and crew for our drama um, events this year, uh, our musical production um, was an incredible group of students with a lot of skill. And so I really want to thank and congratulate each one of you for your very important roles that you had. Uh, without any one of you, the production would not have been the same. We do have some special awards at this time and we wanna call out a few of you for specific awards in the drama uh, program. And so the uh, way that we do this is we have certain predetermined awards and we look at the students that participated in the drama program and we want to recognize them. And so our first award is the most valuable crew member and that goes to Diego Oliver. The second award is, excuse me just a second, the second award uh, for drama is the most or best supporting actor, and that goes to Sean Solano. The next award, best supporting actress, goes to Lucia Garcia. Um, the best actor for our musical program this year, drama program this year, is Will McGrew. And the best actress for our drama program this year is Daniela Figueroa. And finally, our Eagle Award recipients this year um, goes to Aliyah Holtrop. Congratulations to the six of you and to all of those of you who were involved in leadership um, as part of our musical program this year. It was a wonderful success and we really are uh, very proud of all of you. The next set of awards that we're going to go into are our athletic awards. And our athletic awards are given to students who participated in our official athletic teams. And we have specifically four uh, awards that we give each year. The four, um, and uh, sorry, I'm gonna explain that in a second. Before we even get into our official awards, we wanna thank four of you uh, who served as junior coaches as part of our Eagles in Training program. Eagles in Training is our uh, athletics program for elementary. And these four students were involved in leadership in our Eagles in Training sports camps for elementary students. And very selflessly, without receiving any, any uh, pay or benefits, um, these people were involved closely in helping lead and helping younger students uh, learn a number of sports this year. And so congratulations and thank you so much to Michaela, Drew, Ben, and Cohen for your time and investment into, into our athletics program, especially for younger students. We also want to call out um, one student who was involved in an international sports competition that, this year, and that goes to Juan Pablo Guerrero, uh, who represented the country of Nicaragua in the third Torneo Confederación de Tenis de Centro America, um, a tennis competition in El Salvador. So congratulations to Juan Pablo. Um, great job uh, for your work. The four specific areas that we're going to recognize for athletic awards um, are the academic athlete, this award is given to the students who contribute significantly to the team and achieves a very strong academic average during their athletic season. The most improved player is given to the student who demonstrated the strongest athletic growth since last year or during the course of the current athletic season. The most valuable player is given to the student who played the most important role on the team in a given sport during this athletic season. 
And the Eagle Award is given to the student who most exemplifies the character qualities NCA desires for every student athlete. Heart, reliability, sportsmanship, determination, leadership, humility, and above all that he or she consistently represents Christ on the field or court. And each of these four awards we'll be presenting to uh, members of each of our main athletic teams uh, throughout this past year. We'd like to begin with the women's varsity volleyball team. Um, first of all, I want to recognize all of the varsity volleyball players um, this year. Congratulations to this group of people for you, all of your hard work um, during the first semester um, volleyball season. Um, at this point, we are going to recognize four of you for having uh, received these awards. Um, the first award, our academic athlete, goes to Aliyah Holtrop. Our most improved player goes to Alyssa Hernandez. Our most valuable player goes to Cody Sparks. And our Eagle Award goes to Michaela Lang. Congratulations to the four of you for a wonderful season and for all of your work um, in our uh, sport athletic season during volleyball. The next group we're going to look at are our women's varsity soccer team. And we want to recognize the group of people that were involved uh, on the team during first semester again. Uh, congratulations to this wonderful, extremely talented group of, of women that uh, dedicated a ton of time and energy um, into our soccer team in season uh, this school year. And again, we want to recognize four of you specifically. Um, we want to recognize our academic athletes. That goes to Lena Ruth Hoyele. We want to recognize our most improved player this season, which goes to Lola Bagwell. We want to recognize our most valuable player. That award goes to Rochelle Faber. And we want to recognize our Eagle Award recipients. That is Julia Holsinger. Congratulations to the group of you. We are very, very proud of you and all that you uh, accomplished during the soccer season uh, during first semester. The next group of people uh, we're going to recognize is our soccer team, uh, the men's varsity soccer team. And as you can see here, we have a very strong, talented uh, group of soccer players. Um, we're very proud of them and um, all of their very, very strong efforts and, and hard work during the soccer season. Um, and in particular, we want to recognize four of you um, for specific awards. The first award goes to the academic athlete, and that is Nathan Holtrop. The second award goes to our most improved player, and that is Caden Yule. Our third award goes to our MVP, our most valuable player, and that is Donado Guerrero. And our fourth award, the Eagle Award, goes to Jose Chose Garcete. Congratulations to the four of you for all of your work um, and uh, hard work. Congratulations. Uh, you deserve uh, these awards and recognitions. The next sports team we're going to look at is the Women's Varsity Basketball. Um, women's varsity basketball team um, during this past semester, even though the season was not uh, the full length that we wanted it to, um, these women worked very, very hard and showed a lot of skill and talent um, as uh, in the area of basketball. Uh, so congratulations to this group of people, and we want to recognize in particular our recipients of the basketball awards. This year, our academic athlete for women's varsity basketball goes to Kiana Doubt. Our most improved player, Gabriela Saldana. Our most valuable player, Julia Holsinger. And our Eagle Award goes to Michaela Lang. Congratulations, basketball award recipients. We're very proud of you. You did a fantastic job um, and definitely deserve this recognition. The next group of people we're going to look at is our uh, JV basketball team. The JV basketball team, um, it is a relatively small team. We'd love to see it continue to grow. Um, but even though the number of students in, in it uh, is a small number, uh, they were very, very strong. And we had a, an excellent um, number of starters on this team. And so we want to recognize four of you specifically for your accomplishments in JV basketball. And so the awards, the award recipients for our men's JV basketball team, the academic athlete goes to Nathan Holtrop. The most improved player goes to Ben Lang. The most valuable player goes to Drew Lang. And our Eagle Award recipient for the JV basketball is Marlon Morales. Congratulations to the four of you. Um, uh, you definitely are deserving of a lot of recognition. Uh, great job uh, during the basketball season. The next group of people is our men's varsity basketball team. 
the men's varsity basketball team. Um, again, the season was cut short, um, but we uh, definitely want to recognize this group of people for all of your preparation and work uh, and skills um, and hard work and dedication for basketball. And we want to recognize our four recipients for the men's basketball awards. The first recipient, our academic athlete, goes to Brian Sandal. The next recipient, um, our most improved player, is Caleb Doubt. Our next recipient, most valuable player, is Brandon Faber. And our Eagle Award recipient is Caden Doubt. And so congratulations to this group of people. We really uh, are very proud of you um, and all of your efforts and work in our basketball program. We do also want to take just a moment to recognize um, our most academic team. This is something, this is an award that we just look at uh, where we take the averages, the academic averages of the players in the different sports that we have, and we look just to see which of the teams is amazing at being able to, as a team, perform very well in their sport and also maintain their grades very high. And so the third place team this year um, in the most academic team was the men's vars varsity basketball team with an average grade among the all players of 90.3%, which is an incredible average to be able to carry as a team. But they were beat by the men's JV basketball team by 0.3%, 90.6%. Congratulations to the men's JV basketball team. However, officially our smartest sports team this year in terms of their academic average goes to the women's varsity basketball team with a whopping 94.4% team average. Congratulations, uh, you ladies are amazing. Good work at putting that together, doing sports and keeping your grades up. Congratulations. We have another set of awards now and these are called our ACSI Distinguished Christian High School Student Awards. And these awards are given to students that are in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Um, this is a program that is run by ACSI, or the Association of Christian Schools International. And it's specifically designed to recognize students who are excellent in academics, leadership, Christian service, athletics, and fine arts. Um, to be eligible for these awards, students needed to be recommended for these awards by at least two teachers. Um, all high school teachers were given the opportunity to select students. Recipients of these awards are published in a booklet that is sent out to all ACSI higher education member colleges and universities. Many of these colleges use this booklet as an important vehicle to recruit outstanding Christian high school students for their degree programs, and some offer potential scholarship opportunities for these award winners. And so we'd like to start by recognizing all of our award recipients in 10th grade. Congratulations, Felicia, Freder, Gabriel, Alyssa, Aliyah, Cecilia, Gloria, Michaela, Diego, Caden, and Oscar for all of your leadership and, and uh, amazing uh, skills in each of these areas. This is a wonderful award and we're very, very proud of you. Um, 10th graders, great work. The next group is our 11th grade award recipients. And the, these awards uh, go to the following students, Caleb Dowd, Daniela Figueroa, Anthea Gutierrez, Crystal Hernandez, Julia Holsinger, Sophie Lindhout, uh, Fernando Munguia, and Brian Sandal. Congratulations to each of you for all of your uh, work and leadership and all of the time that you invested this year into trying to uh, do your very best on a day-to-day -day basis. The next group of awards um, are the ACSI Distinguished Christian High School Students Awards for our seniors. And this, these awards go to Caden Doubt, Brandon Faber, Chosi Garcete, Lucia Garcia, Donado Guerrero, Julie Kim, Natalia Kim, Angie Martinez, Will McGrew, and Daniela Morales. Congratulations to all of you for uh, winning these awards, these very um, honorable awards um, as, we are, as you're finishing your senior year. We want to recognize two specific more people, um, and specifically these people are recognized um, from the senior class as the two students who had the highest averages. And so our first recognition goes to the salutatorian of the class of 2020. And this is the student with the second highest average, a cumulative average in the class since ninth grade. So counting all of their grades from ninth through 12th grade, and this student um, had a final GPA 
of 4.2173, uh, which is a very high GPA. And we really want to give a congratulations to Will McGrew. Congratulations to our salutatorian of the class of 2020. Will will be giving a speech um, during uh, as part of our graduation video, and we're very proud of you, Will. And then the last person that we want to recognize on our list and is part of this award ceremony this afternoon is the valedictorian of the class of 2020. And the valedictorian is the student with the highest cumulative average during the past four years since ninth grade. Uh, and this student had a, a cumulative GPA of 4.2217. We're very, very proud of her, Angie Martinez. Congratulations, Angie, for being the valedictorian of the class of 2020. We know that you've worked extremely, extremely hard uh, to be able to accomplish this, and we're all very proud of you. Thank you to everyone for joining us for this award ceremony. Um, we know that it's different than we normally do, and yet we really wanted to take this time to recognize you. Um, for uh, many of the awards, we will be giving out award certificates at a different time when we're able to do that. Um, and at the same time, we feel like now is the appropriate time to be able to congratulate you. And that concludes our award ceremony, and um, we really thank all of you for joining us. Thank you. Goodbye.